Hi, welcome back. My name is Chris Libidor and I'm here at the uh, EMT Proving Grounds in Windsor, California. And I'd like to take a few minutes today to talk to you about the proper placement of the diaphragm when taking a blood pressure. And as you know, uh, I talked to you a little bit uh, the, uh, the last episode or in a different episode on the proper technique or proper selection of a stethoscope. But we're going to talk today about the actual placement of this diaphragm um, when you're taking a blood pressure. Uh, I'm going to refer to my assistant here, Casey. And what I've done here is placed a, 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 a red line on her arm, uh, you know, uh, telling you approximately where the brachial artery is as it comes down the medial aspect of the arm and then over what's called the antecubital fossa, the anterior side of the elbow. And what we're going to do is, my recommendation is, is not to do what most of the nurses and clinical people do, which is simply to place the stethoscope diaphragm, let me get myself untied here, and not just to simply place it over that spot, but to actually palpate uh, with two fingers the, the uh, pressure, the pulse point. And what you're trying to do is determine the, the pulse point uh, that is the strongest, and that's exactly where you're going to put your stethoscope. By placing it over, directly over the pulse point, you're going to maximize the sound that you're going to be hearing when you take a blood pressure. Of course, with the, if the stethoscope was in my ears right now, I would still not hear a pulse because I'm only going to hear a sound after the blood pressure cuff has been inflated and then it begins to deflate. Um, by placing the stethoscope near the, the, the maximum pulse point, you will still hear a, a blood pressure, uh, that, that systolic and, uh, sound, but it's not going to be as, as dominant. And when you're in the field setting and need to maximize the, the, the sound that you're hearing, it's really important that you palpate first to locate that maximum pulse point, place the stethoscope over that. Now when you hold it, hold it with what I'll call just firm pressure. You don't want to hold it too tight, and you obviously don't want to let it move around because it'll make noise. Now, I've tested this myself, and you can, you can do the same, but I will use my thumb, wrapping around the elbow with my hand, I will use my thumb to hold the back side of that stethoscope in place. Um, I have never been able to hear my own pulse from my thumb through the back of a stethoscope, so I really believe that that's a, a myth that's not really true. Um, so go ahead and use your thumb. If you have any doubts about that, just use the tip of your thumb because the pulse is actually not at the tip, it's deeper in the pad of the thumb. And, uh, but that's the best sort of ergonomic position to hold uh, that diaphragm in place uh, when you're taking a blood pressure. Uh, of course, if you, I just want to make a quick point here, is when you place the stethoscope in your ears, make sure that the ears of the stethoscope, ear pieces, are pointing forward. Your ear canals point forward inside your head and therefore you want them pointing in towards the ear canals. That's going to maximize again your opportunity to hear that diastolic and or systolic and diastolic blood pressure when it comes time. So I hope you found this helpful. Uh, just another tip for the day and we'll see you next time. Thank you very much.